here we are. This is our long-awaited Scottish trip. Uh, how long have you been counting down the months ready for this, Johnny? Well, at least six months. It was well before Christmas. Yeah, so we've been doing a lot of planning, lots of pouring over charts, uh, looking at tide times. Um, and Make, making new equipment. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Um, boat preparation. Got a very nice new boat blanket to try out, which should be great. So, uh, new tent. Yeah, got a brand new tent with a red stripe. Yeah, so we're making good progress on the road now towards Scotland, um, and we're currently about 57 minutes away from that well-known Scottish port of Falmouth. Yes. So what's going on here then? Why are we Why are we going to Falmouth in Cornwall and not to Scotland, Johnny? Um, the, the weather has been decidedly uncooperative this last week. Yeah. Uh, and you have actually been to Scotland. I have, and, yeah, and, briefly. And tested the water. I've tested the water and the structural integrity of the tent in high winds, which, please to report, it survived. But, yeah, the weather is not looking nice in Scotland for the next week or so. It's going to be rain pretty much every day, strong winds as well. Uh, south of England looks really nice, so we are going to Cornwall. Let's see what happens. Sea off South Cornwall. We set off from Falmouth this morning and we are heading eastwards because the Segway at Falmouth where we launched is unavailable for recovery from the last couple of days where we want to recover. And so as a result we need to find somewhere else to recover. And we thought rather than recover the boat there and then tow it all the way back south coast. Why not sail back? So we're going to sail as far as we can eastwards. It's going to be a nice couple of days. So we're heading so far from Plymouth and if we get there and fancy carrying on a bit further we will go a little bit further. The conditions out here are perfect for this trip. It's about a course three at the moment. The sun's just breaking through the clouds uh, and the wind's from the southwest so it's blowing us nicely along the coast. So. Very happy morning. Couldn't have asked for a better day to set up. No, we couldn't really. On that point over in the distance, we're hoping to find Plymouth, it's been about eight miles away. Uh, time is, excuse me, I've just had a really nice nap. Time's 2.30 in the afternoon, um, so we set off 7.30 out of Falmer. So we got no, no, another hour and a half to two hours to go um, to take it to Plymouth. Weather's glorious. We've got one reef in the in the main, Old Genoa. Um, 
very comfortable sailing, Jonathan and I have been switching, um, I'd say between crew and helm, but it's, one of us has been sailing the boat and the other's been either napping or getting something to eat or, yeah, just generally enjoying the ride. Well, the wind has dropped and so we're going to put up the spinnaker, see if we can get a bit more speed because we're only doing about two knots over the ground now, so see if we can get a bit more speed up just to get round the corner and into Plymouth. What's happened, Johnny? Wind's gone. But, we've got the kite up. Uh, and we are moving a little bit again now. We're still making reasonable time. Um, pro probably gained us another knot putting the kite up. So, still heading for Plymouth. Uh, just making the best of it, really. Got comfortable. You, know, you have to do these things from time to time. So we've shaken the reef out, we've put the kite away and we're back on full main, full Genoa. We're, Jonathan's now happy that we're, we are making progress again, um, so he's decided to have a nap. As such, you see he's very comfortable with us making progress. into Plymouth now the wind died completely so the engines on um, and we're gonna head in and find somewhere nice to anchor for the night winds forecast to pick back up tomorrow morning so we will set off nice and early take that wind and probably head across the bay to Weymouth So we arrived at, at Plymouth, um, really interesting trip up the Tamar, it's, it's not your first time is it Jonathan, going, going up that way, but uh, yeah, all, all the, the Type 23 frigates and uh, the, the submarines etc. We did struggle to find somewhere sort of suitably sheltered, the flow on that river was, was quite brutal really. Uh, the first mooring we took would have been quite an uncomfortable night I would have thought, but as luck would have it. We ended up on the uh, pontoon at uh, Saltash Sailing Club. It, it turned out, very fortunately, that it was the, the day before they were uh, lifting all their, their boats in for the season. The clubhouse was open, uh, there were some really friendly people in there. 
they welcomed us to, to stay on their pontoon overnight. Um, and again, as luck would have it, they were serving uh, a very nice full English breakfast the following morning. So that was very fortuitous.